All right, let's see what's going on. So use effect. Something on your uh, get handle login thing. Uh, line 19 inside the parentheses. Line 19. I'm sorry, get logged in user. Line 19. So do you right see here. the get item? Yeah, not equal to null. What, what does that do, by the way? Oh, so. Because <clears throat> that new... evaluates to a Boolean, right? Oh, yeah, that's probably what it is, right? Yeah, I think it. So use effect comes in here. No, I mean like the RPS token not equals to null evaluates oh, to I'm Boolean. Yep, sorry. So the RPS token. So if I, I know what I did. So if I do that, I get a million of those. And so if RPS token does not equal, no, I, I think I had it inside of the, and then that's where I need to break that. There we go, okay. Whoops. Yeah, so what I did, I actually had this not equals null part within the get item. And the reason why I have it as null as a string is because it's stringified and when I log out, little storage, it actually is a string of null. I could also just clear it, just completely clear the local storage. Uh, when I log out, which it also works. So in order to clear the entire local storage, you can do like local storage dot clear and run that and it can delete all of local storage. But there might be other things in local storage that I don't want that I like have in there that I don't want to clear. So that's why I'm just setting it to null. Yeah. All right. So when you get a, when you get your a logged in user back with a user token, store it into local storage. And then every time you refresh the page, like refresh this app component, uh, it can go into the use effect, or if you're using classic components, you can do component did mount, uh, and it runs another API request to to see whether or not that token exists in local storage or not. And if it does, you pass that token into this get logged in user. Comes into here, get login users, passes in the token, author, then you include this authorization in the headers. And you need this JSON web token right in front of it. Don't forget that. And then that should return an object of just like a user object, which is literally just username and user ID. We never used to go over this part. We used to just kind of have, <laughs> have you guys kind of figure it out. Um, but yeah. 